What is Smart Exporter? Smart Exporter is Audicon's software solution for automatically preparing and extracting SAP data, making SAP data easily accessible for further data analysis. When would one use Smart Exporter? Exchanging data between different software solutions is a common challenge in this age, and the ease of extracting data from one system and copying it to another is a critical factor to the success of data analysis projects. Importing third-party data into Audicon's AIS Tax Audit Professional is simple. You extract data from the third-party system and our specially designed process will prepare and map it to various analysis functions, thus trivializing the entire extraction process and allowing you to go about your analysis. SAP system users have additional challenges. They regularly deal with large volumes of data and complicated data structures. Also, a small but nevertheless important challenge is actually obtaining access to SAP system data. Users want a simple solution that enables them to obtain the relevant analysis data. In addition, it should be easy to install on both the PC and the SAP system in question. This is where our Smart Exporter comes in. Our program is a small Windows program with minimal installation effort and is an ideal solution for a small budget data analysis project. One need not be a SAP expert to use Smart Exporter. We believe people can extract data without the help of an IT or SAP administrator. Our program is different because the actual request for data is first composed locally on the PC. This means that the user will remain in comfortable control since they will remain in familiar surroundings. Smart Exporter provides people with an optimal method of choosing what data they want to extract from SAP without technical detail burden. Not only is Smart Exporter easy to use, it's also safe to use. Our program incorporates the SAP system user security mechanism. No one can modify the SAP system data since we only read data. This means that Smart Exporter obtains and leaves the SAP data unchanged. Let's take a look at some examples. On the left we have AIS Tax Audit Professional. Smart Exporter is in the middle. Smart Exporter comes installed with a standard SAP data dictionary. This way you can pick and choose from desired tables and fields without even connecting to a SAP system. Using the standard data dictionary, we can choose the tables and fields we want to extract, plus place filters and constraints on our selection, resulting in a download with only the information you want. Smart Exporter can estimate the resulting size of the user selection when connected to a SAP system. Depending upon the resulting size of the selection, you may choose to extract the data in a synchronous or asynchronous fashion. A synchronous download will transfer the data immediately, but you're subject to the same constraints as all other users on the system, and may not get the data as fast as you like. This is why we also have an asynchronous download. The asynchronous download will let you schedule the download at a more suitable time. Perhaps when everyone else has gone home for the evening, and the system can dedicate more resources to the request. Perform synchronous downloads with smaller amounts of data and asynchronous for larger requests. The resulting data will reside in a destination folder of your choice and can be imported with solutions like IDEA, AS Tax Audit Professional, but also with Microsoft Excel or Microsoft Access and others. I'd like to show you an example on just how easy it is to extract data from a SAP system with Smart Exporter. But first look at how we integrated Smart Exporter into IDEA. I can start Smart Exporter by choosing the file assistant in the IDEA file menu and selecting the Smart Exporter option. Clicking on Next starts Smart Exporter. Now that Smart Exporter is running, let's take a look at the program's home page. Here we can transfer tables, change program options, view active transfers, 
or manage program connections to SAP systems. I will start with transferring some SAP tables. On the left you can see the workflow and how we guide users through the SAP data extraction process. First, I will give this transfer request a name so I can find it again later. I'll use Handels GmbH for my transfer request name and enter it here. Next, I'll define a filter to constrain the volume of the extraction. By specifying the ISIS client, I can ensure that only data from 2002 will be extracted. Next, I'll define or choose a connection to a SAP system. Smart Exporter supports all the different ways to connect to a SAP system, and the details are entered here. A connection contains the host name or IP address of the application server and the user's logon credentials. The user logon credentials are the same as those defined by your SAP administrator and define the user privileges in the SAP system. Now I can choose which tables I want to extract from the SAP system. What we are seeing here are data dictionary contents I previously mentioned. Using a simple search I can look for things that interest me. For example, I can enter BSEG or even SCAT, and I'll only see the tables matching my search criteria. Since I've selected my tables, I can now select individual fields that I want to extract in the Selected Tables tab. Unselected tables and fields will not be extracted from the SAP system, and now we can check if the items we did select exist in the SAP system and if we have enough privileges to make a copy. As you can see, all the fields turned green, which means that they do exist and we have the privileges to copy them. In the Transfer Options page, I can decide the file format I want my exported data in. I can choose from comma-separated files, plain text, which is the SAP AIS format, Microsoft Access, or in an IDEA file format. I'm going to choose IDEA for my example. Finally, on the Finish page, I have some different options how I can transfer my data. I can transfer the data immediately, or I can put it in a queue and schedule it for a more suitable download time. I can even save my work in a format so that everyone else with Smart Exporter can transfer the data for me. In this example, I'd like to immediately have the data, so I'm going to click on Transfer Now. Now, as you can see in the background, Smart Exporter is copying my request from the connected SAP system into IDEA. Now the tables are immediately available for analysis in IDEA. So now I have shown you how easy it can be to extract data from a SAP system and use that extracted information in data analysis software. Nonetheless, there are still times when someone does not have direct access to a SAP system, like when an auditor prepares an audit before arriving at his destination. Smart Exporter has an offline mode to help our users in these situations. What does this mean? Working offline means that a user lacking direct SAP system access can still perform an analysis on extracted data. The user would run Smart Exporter like normal. They can make table and field selections, add filters, just like a connected user can. But at the finish page, instead of directly transferring the data, they would save the request as an offline request. This will produce an XML file that can be emailed to another person which does have access to the SAP system. If that person has Smart Exporter, they can load the XML file and continue where the first person finished. The extract can now take place, and at this point, the process looks no different than my previous example. Smart Exporter can download many types of SAP data, including pooled tables and clustered tables. All the communication that takes place between Smart Exporter and the SAP system is done with the native SAP Live RFC API and RFC modules. Now, I would like to list some of the more technical information for those interested in implementing Smart Exporter. It is important to note that Smart Exporter can only read data from SAP systems. 
it is not possible for Smart Exporter users to change anything on the application server. In addition, Smart Exporter directly uses the SAP privilege model. This means that the SAP administrator determines who can extract data and which data can be extracted. All Smart Exporter actions that involve direct contact are logged and are associated with a unique ID on the SAP system. Smart Exporter requires, at minimum, a SAP 4.6C system and one will need Microsoft Windows XP Service Pack 2 or higher along with the Microsoft.NET Framework 3.5 Service Pack 1.